I love your feedback, by the way. For all of you guys who message me and let me know the things that you loved, I totally appreciate that. It's, it's really cool because a lot of times the things that you really love are stuff that I kind of just made up and um, it just makes me feel really good and I'm glad that um, you like it. And obviously I, I didn't make it up, just pulled out of my, you know what, um, just a lot of the research and training and experience that I have um, helps me come up with stuff that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna come up with, I'm gonna pick our first card today. If you're new here, I normally come up with, uh, or I normally pick one of these cards, or just positive affirmations or things to think about. And I just kind of meditate and figure out which one wants to get chosen. And it's usually good for at least somebody. So if it's not for you, you can trust that it's for somebody. Sometimes they're a little bit out there, sometimes they're not. All right, this one says, life created me to be fulfilled. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life and life is always there at every turn. I am safe. Life supports me. I think that's another good one. It's so crazy because some of these have to do with, you know, finances and your house and self-worth and all that. And I feel like every single day a card has come up that says I am safe. All right, everybody's here who wants to be uh, for the live. We're going to start out, we have a lot of different stuff and we're going to be going from up to down, front to back all through the class and I'm just feeling like I want to start sitting today so we're going to start out sitting on in a comfortable cross-legged position doesn't matter which leg is forward which leg is back we're going to be doing some lunge work and sun salutations and then go back onto the ground so have your water nearby I sometimes think it takes me water breaks so let's close our eyes sitting in a nice comfortable seated position and let's just start to become aware of our breath here inhaling through our nose allowing our breath to just fill up our chest follow it down expanding our ribs just see what that feels like and then your exhale allow that breath just to leave your mouth and as you exhale really wrap your ribs in to allow that exhale to come up and out Reversing the inhale, filling up your ribs, and now be mindful of your back ribs. Allow them to expand as you breathe. Exhaling, letting all of that air out. On this one, once you get all of your air out, keep exhaling, exhaling, pause just for a second. So now inhale. We're gonna pause at the top, just keep inhaling and inhaling, feeling those back ribs now, sitting taller, inhaling. We're gonna pause right here, pause. Nice, and exhale. Keep exhaling, 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 wrapping those ribs in to get all the last air out. Pausing here and inhaling. Now I'm just gonna allow you to uh, just focus on your own breath with no judgment. What's cool when we do the pauses at the top and the bottom, it allows our body just to fully take a quick rest. Our autonomic nervous system just gets a quick break. It's really important for immunity. It's perfect for right now. Keep your eyes closed, but just inhale your arms up to the ceiling, maybe you're outside in a warm place, which is awesome, so it's up to the sky. Exhale your arms down to the side. Again, inhale your arms up. You can open your eyes and just gaze at your hands. We're gonna exhale as we turn to the right, left hand to your right knee, right hand is behind you, sitting up nice and tall. Maybe gazing over that back shoulder, inhale up. Exhale, twist the other way. Gaze over the back shoulder. Inhale up. Back to the right. Twisting. Let me turn my sound off. Good morning, Frederic. Inhale up to the center. 
exhale to the other side. Inhale back to the center. We're just going to come into a low boat pose, Navasana. So low boat, you can either keep your feet on the ground, knees bent, or you can extend your legs depending on your flexibility. One thing you want to focus on, everybody put your hands behind your knees and just lift your chest. Really allow your chest to lift up and your spine is nice and long. Roll your shoulders down, shoulder blades engage them together down your back and your palms are facing up, extending your arms. Just in a receiving pose, we'll get yoga-like, just receiving positive energy. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. Then extend your legs out just a little and lean back just a little. Engage your abdominals to sit up tall, lifting up through the chest. Again, extend out. Lift it up. One more. Extend out. Lift up long spine. Now you're going to cross your legs the opposite way. So if you don't know what's the opposite way, if when you put them down it feels normal, that's probably the way you just did it. All right. Now we're going to inhale and twist, starting with the left. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand to left knee. Kind of push your left knee into your hand. It allows your hips to be more square towards the front. Inhale up to the center. Exhale, twist to the right. Knee presses into hand. If you're finding that when you twist, you're kind of hunched over a little, push your back hand into the mat to allow it to lengthen your spine up as you twist. One more time, each side. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist, long, tall spine, twisting through the mid back, pressing that knee into your hand. Awesome. Inhale back, exhale into a little forward fold. Just wiggle your hips out. If you've got extra layers on, you can take them off. Cross your legs the opposite way again and just lean forward. I like to be semi symmetrical. All right, so we're gonna do some lunges. Stand up at the top of your mat. If you were here yesterday, feel what it feels like for you. We're in Tadasana and mountain pose. Hips and feet are in alignment, nice and tall. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, bend, hinge at the hips forward into a forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale to a forward fold. Round your spine, one vertebra at a time. As you come up, shoulder rolls, the last thing, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive, hinging at the hips, knees are bent, head is relaxed. Inhale to a half back, flat back. I use those interchangeably. Bending your knees, rolling up. Shoulder roll, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive, we're adding on here. Inhale to a half back. Exhale, put your hands beside your feet. You're going to step your right foot back, way far back, into a really long lunge here, forward lunge. You're on your back toes. Your front knee is over your front heel. You can either stay down here, or you can come up to your knee, or you can lengthen your upper body and spine up. So a lot of times I talk about opposition. Opposition is two body parts working in opposite directions. So right now, you want your hips going down, your head going up. You also want this front knee going forward, your back heel going back. Feel what that feels like. Inhaling. And exhale, step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, half back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to step your left foot far back. Make this a really long lunge. And then you can stay here in the, this lunge. You can come up to your knee. At least kind of try to press that back heel away from you. Inhale your arms up. Sink a little bit lower into that front knee. Just seeing what this feels like. No judgment. Long spine. One more inhale here, exhale, forward fold. Getting the legs warmed up, hips, hip flexors, low back. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot back again, way back. Place your hand on the inside of your left leg. And then you're gonna walk them out just a little bit more. Maybe one hand on the mat. You're gonna lower your back knee and just feel what this lunge feels like. The modified lizard lunge, low lunge. You might feel hip flexor work. You might feel adductor on the left leg. So now what you're gonna do is walk up to the knee, inhale up, lengthening the spine, and then you're gonna exhale, place your hands down, and just walk them out, and then reach. Got it? Walk, walk, up, up. You can do one hand or two, and then back down to the ground. Walk, walk, and then reach with that left hand. Nice. Opening up your side bodies, intercostals of your ribs, space in between. Back down, one more. Reach. Nice. Inhale up. Now you're going to place your right hand down on the mat, kind of in line with your shoulder, and now your left hand goes up towards the ceiling. Check out your knee that's bent. If it's kind of going out to the side, make it go straight up and down. And you can put your left hand on your hip and twist, or you can open it up to the ceiling. You can even press it into your knee to get a nice gentle twist. There's a lot of different options. So now you're going to put your hand, left hand down on the mat, and then you're going to open it up. Left hand down. Open it up. Left hand down. Open it up here. And then step forward into a forward fold. See what that feels like. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale to a forward fold. You're going to step your left foot way back now, feeling what this feels like. Place your hands, actually we'll come up, up, and then back down. Place your hands on the inside of this leg. Feel what that feels like. Drop your back knee. You're going to walk your hands out, and then you reach. Step them back in. Come up, and reach. One or both hands. So you're placing your hands on the ground, both hands, and then you walk your left hand out one, and then your right to meet, and then you reach with your right arm, feeling stretching in the back right ribs, and then you walk back, right hand to right knee, inhale your left arm to stretch, you know you're feeling a left stretch in that front hip flexor of the left leg. You can do both arms to add a little bit more balance. Everybody's got it? Nice job. Walk, walk, reach. Ooh, nice, still one more, and then reach out there, feel what that feels like, walk it back to your knee, and up, lunging forward with that back leg, so now your left hand is down, and we're going to do a twist over to the right, so you can twist by pressing your hand into your knee. You put your hand on your hip, or you can lengthen your arm all the way up to the ceiling. Check out your front shoulder. If you're kind of all kinked up in that left shoulder, see if you can really press that hand into the mat, lengthen through the spine, and that should have fixed it. <laughs> now you're going to place your hand down, and then back up, down, and up. Still one more, down, and up, nice job. I feel like we did one more thing on this side. So if you know what we did, if we did anything, feel free to do it, because I don't remember. All right, we're gonna step forward into a forward fold. We might have actually gotten it all. Forward fold, half back, forward fold. Bend your knees, wiggle it out. So now you're going to walk your hands over to the right in this forward fold. See if you can allow your spine to be a little bit longer. Maybe tilt your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Head is long, relaxed. Walk over to the left. You should feel good in this hip, back hip area. Lower back, back over to the right. Over to the left. 
back to the center. Inhale to a flat back. We're coming to a chair. We're going to inhale and then exhale, chair. Sit a little bit lower. Now lift your toes up off the mat. The weight is in your heels. Take your booty way back. Now tuck your pelvis under and lift up here. Nice. Imagine there's balloons lifting up your chest towards the ceiling. Inhale, sit a little lower. We're going to just pulse. Feel on that. Three, two, one. Come all the way up. Inhale up. Exhale, arms by your side. So we're going to uh, do a side bend. Your feet are still underneath your feet. Nice and tall. Inhale your arms up. I'm going to step off my mat because I've got this low ceiling here. Inhale your arms up. You're going to clasp your hands together in some way. I like to do it like this. Can you see? It's almost like you're making shadow puppets. And now rotate your inner thighs forward. And then while you do that, your pelvis tucks under. You've got a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt here. Lengthening up, you're going to exhale to go over to the right, pressing your left foot into the ground. Inhaling, lengthening through that left side of your body. Exhaling to uh, bend a little bit more. Inhale up to the center. Exhale over to the left. And you're lengthening here. Press through your right foot. Right foot pressing through the ground. Open up that right shoulder towards the ceiling. Exhale a little bit deeper. Inhale up. Exhale over to the right. Inhale up. Exhale over to the left. Inhale up, one more time inside. Exhale right, up, left, up. Nice, all right, so we've got our thoracic and everything warmed up. We're gonna do supine knee twists. All right, so what you're gonna do, and then we're gonna add plank to that. Try to figure out the angle that is best that you guys can see. I'm gonna do these like so. So you're lying. Start out lying on your back. I'm trying to figure out the best way to show this from the angle that I am. So you're lying on your back. Your arms are out to a T. Palms are facing down or up. Doesn't matter right at this moment. Bring your knees into your chest. Actually, one more thing. Lift your hips up. Walk them an inch over to your right. Now bring your knees into your chest. Drop them to the left. So you're in a supine twist. Okay. You're going to take your left hand and place it on the top of your knees. Your right hand now is going to draw kind of a circle or a rainbow on the ground. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Until you get over to the T where your other hand is. Got it? Knees stay where they are, hips. And then you're going to draw back. Try to keep your hand on the ground. And then gaze over towards that right hand. So you're drawing kind of a rainbow or a half circle. And then all the way around, gaze over to that right hand. So this is nice, nice thoracic mobility here in a safe, controlled way. You're supported by the ground. Lumbar stability, up and over. Let's go two more. You should feel pretty good. Your right shoulder ideally gets to the ground when you get back to that side. All right, let's hold it here in this twist. Extend your right leg just a little bit longer. Feel what that feels like. Inhale through the back ribs and whew, exhale. Bring your knees back into your chest. We got the other side. So let's go back into just neutral spine. Lift your hips up, scooch them over to the left just a little. Knees into your chest. Drop your knees to the right. The reason why you do that scooch of the hips is just allows your spine to be more in alignment when you do the twist. So both shoulders on the ground. Right hand goes to the top of your knees. And now you're just going to start drawing on the ground. Keep drawing this big circle until you get over to the other side. And all the way around. Gaze over that left hand. Do you guys have these? Yeah, I know I can't hear you, but you can still talk to the computer screen. So the breathing, inhale, 
when you're stopped on the sides, exhale through the movement, trying to keep your hand on the ground at all times. So inhale, and now exhale on the movement. And while you're exhaling on the movement, you're gonna add some breath work. Think about filling up those back ribs, inhale, and then exhale, engaging your lower ribs to expel all of your air on the exhale and on the movement. Let's go one more. All the way there, and all the way back. Gaze is over your left hand, extend your left leg. Just feel what that feels like. Good, right? Bring your knees into your chest. We're gonna flip over for some plank. We're gonna do low planks where we remove one arm. So get into a low plank. I'm not there yet, but you are. You're on your forearms. And I'm going to start this one and then talk you through it as you go. So you're in a low plank, elbows are underneath your shoulders, shoulder blades engaged pressing your heels away from you, space in your neck here, your levator scapula, make space between your neck and your shoulders. Abdominals are pulled in and up and then under your ribs. So now while you're here, you're gonna lift, lift your right arm and extend it back. That one's a really hard one to talk through. So then now lift your left arm and just extend it long alongside your body. So we're, we are, removing woo, a point of contact. You keep going. So pretend I'm in this plank pose here. You just extend one arm long and then with control, bring it back. Left arm, extend and bring it back. We have one more each side. Just feel what that feels like. Make sure your body remains stable the whole time. Switch. Back to plank. Let's hold for three, two, one nice quick break. You can press up to a low cobra. Your elbows are underneath, lengthening through the chest, lengthening through the spine, spinal flexion. We have another one of those. So come up to plank. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna walk you through. You're in plank with control, making sure your hips remain stable. Nothing moves except for your arm. Inhale. And now exhale, extend your right arm right alongside your body. Nice, you got this. Bring it back to plank. Ready, left arm, extend it long, reaching towards your feet, holding it, holding it, regular plank. Now to your right, extend it, extend it. Back to plank, left, extend it, extend it. You guys got this, let's go one more each side. Right, extend, extend. Plank, left, go, 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 with control. Plank, hold it here. Hold, 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 and release. You can press up to a cobra. Feel that nice spinal flexion. How was that? Good, right? Ooh, what do we have next? Head to knee pose. All right, so we're done there. We have some wide leg planks. Look at the time. Where are we in time? These classes are super fast for me. Hopefully they are for you in a good way too. So you're going to sit wide-legged on your mat, ideally. I just want you to be able to see the angle here. So sitting up nice and tall in a nice wide leg pose. Flex your feet. Now you're going to flex your feet and press your heels away from you. Do you notice that just activated a little bit more of your leg? You might even find that you can sit up a little bit taller. Inhale your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Now in this fold, you want a nice long spine. If you're kind of hunching over, see if you can lengthen that spine and then just walk over. If you're a catcher, you could probably get pretty close to the ground. Goalie, hockey goalie, I've got some hockey players here. You could probably just fold in half also. A yoga instructor should be able to also, right? I'm sure some of you are thinking that. I'm trying to make it um, look like most of the baseball players. Make you feel good. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, walk a little bit further. Remembering to press your heels away from you. Just feel what that feels like. Now you're gonna walk over towards your left leg and reach your right arm. See if you can make sure that right sits bone is anchored into the ground. So 
So press your right heel away from you as you're reaching with your right arm in the opposite direction. Feel the difference there? Nice. Inhale, arms up, over towards the right leg now. Bending over, now reach with your left arm towards that right leg, and now press your left heel away from you. Doesn't that feel so good? Just these little points. When you concentrate and activate those, it just makes it so much better. Inhale up to the center, switch over. Right arm reaches, right leg pushes away. You notice that you can just get a little bit further now? Nice. Inhale up over the other side, reaching with the left arm. Push your left hand away from you. Good, got this. Inhale back to the center. Place your right foot into your left inner thigh. Inhale your arms up, rotate towards that leg. We're gonna reach a little bit more. Now we can make this a little bit more fancy. You can either stay here towards that left leg or you can take your left elbow and place it on the inside of your left knee. You see that, right? And now push your arm into your leg and you notice that your right shoulder opens up. Awesome. So now you're gonna inhale your right arm up and then maybe exhale, reach it towards your foot and then just go back and forth what feels good for you. Up and over, maybe reaching forward feels good for you. Oh, open to cactus arms in the back. Whatever it feels like your body is asking for, try that. I may be doing what feels good for you, but if not, I invite you to add something that works for you. Inhaling, just moving. All right, now you're gonna just reach forward onto the ground. Inhale up, shoulder roll, switch to the other side. Left foot, right inner thigh. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, over to that right leg, reaching with that left arm. Your right elbow now is gonna go on the inside of your right leg. Press your elbow in. You notice it allows you to twist open. Inhale, your left arm up. See if you can make sure that left sits bone is grounded into the ground, into the mat. Inhale up, you can either reach up and over, or you could reach forward. Anyway, just breathing, filling, expanding your lungs. Do what feels right for you. I do want you to be moving in these. A lot of these, this mobility work for athletes includes breathing and moving through all of the poses. Getting a lot more mobility. I like that over more static holding poses. Go one more breath. Do what works for you. Inhale and then exhale. Just bend forward. Inhale up, shoulder roll. Y'all, I have like six more things I want to do with you. All right, we're going to do some internal hip rotation stuff and then some leg stuff and abs. And we might do that quick. So we're going to go into frog. So go into a semi wide. You see where my knees are? Semi-wide kneeling stance. And then put your hands on the ground, maybe get your knees a little bit wider. Now check out your lower leg. You want your feet in a straight line behind your knee. You stay there, hopefully this angle is better. So your foot is behind your knee, foot is flexed. Check out both feet, make sure they're like that. We're gonna inhale, place your right hand on the ground. You're just gonna put your left hand on your hip and then switch side to side. Go one more each side, back to the center. Now you're gonna go down onto your forearms. So you kind of have to find where this is comfortable for you. There should be no pain whatsoever in this pose. It should feel like a nice stretch. You kind of go back and forth, feel what that feels like. All right, so here's this more of this internal rotation stuff. You're going to lift one lower leg at a time. See what I'm doing there? Just lifting it up. Boom. Let's go two more on this side and switch to the other side, right side. You might find one side moves more than the other. 
you're just lifting that foot, that lower part of your leg up off the ground. So it internally rotates your hip. Last one, and now you're gonna alternate side to side. One side, other side. And when you do these, make sure your hips remain stable so you're not like totally jerking your hips all around. It's just a really gentle lift, lift, shoulders and neck are relaxed. Go one more each side. Pull both up just for a second and bring your heels into your booty and then extend them out. Heels into your booty, extend them out. Heels into your booty and then you're just gonna pulse your heels into your booty. Five, four, three, two, squeeze it in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold it out, feet down. And now you can get out of it any way that works for you. Some people like lying down to get out of it. Some people like sitting back and going one knee at a time. How'd that feel? Different, right? Okay. Guys, how is it already? 30 minutes. All right, so you guys are gonna have to send me energy whether you wanna do um, a leg series of stuff that seriously burns your legs and your hips but is so good and it's adductors, abductor stuff, or abs. So send me what you wanna do. I'm feeling abs. Okay. All right. So if you were here yesterday, you got some ab work in. If not, well then now you get to, oh I see, abs. Yes, I got a like here, so that must mean somebody wanted abs. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna start our, out by extending your legs long on the mat. I'm also a Pilates instructor, and there's so many just fundamental things with Pilates that are so, so beneficial that I always incorporate them in all the training I do, all the yoga classes. So extend your legs long on the mat. Flex your feet. Inhale, tall spine. Now you're gonna start rounding your spine as you roll back one vertebra at a time, pressing your heels away from you. And as you go down, you wanna feel one part of your back touch before the next, then the next, then the next, then the next. When your arms reach towards the ceiling, reverse directions and then come up. And as you go over, your abs are pulling back. So it's kind of like that cat-cow position and reach over towards your toes and then reverse. So rolling down, feeling your spine one by one go down and then reverse. As you're coming up, if you're checking, if you look at your abs and you find that they're kind of peaking in the middle, you need to draw your belly down, back and under your ribs. And then as you go over, pretend somebody is pulling on your arms and your feet and they've got their foot kind of pressing your abs back. So you're a nice you. So go back and forth at your own pace Feel what these feel like. If you're on the ground, I feel like most athletes should be able to do these without jerking up. But if you're on the ground and you find you have to go, right? You would bend your knees and walk and help yourself up. All right, now you're rolling halfway back here, holding it here. Check out your belly. Rolls straight across are okay. A peak is not. So pulling that belly in, shoulders, blades engaged down your back. Open your arms like you're holding pizzas. And now you're just gonna deliver a pizza to the person to the right, and then deliver it to the person to the left. And that person is sitting in a seat behind you to the left. So twist, extend, twist, extend, keep going. Twist, extend, and you're rotating in this thoracic. We're getting all of this awesome core work. So extend, check out your belly. If your belly is peaking in the center, draw it in, pull it in, suck it in. I don't wanna say suck it in. Keep going, switch side to side. You've got about four more each side. Reach and reach. Two, pressing your heels away from you while you're doing this. Last one each side, boom, boom. All right, hold it to the center and sitting up. Nice, reach over towards your feet. See what that feels like. Roll all the way down onto your mat. Feet are bent, your legs are bent. Bring your knees into your chest. Extend your legs up to the ceiling. You're gonna walk your hands up towards your leg. You're gonna grab your right leg. We did this yesterday if you were here, and you're gonna extend your foot and tap it to the ground. You're gonna tap it there, and now leave it hovering a half an inch from the ground. And now you're gonna switch. Grab your left leg. Right leg is hovering just an inch off the ground. Switch. 
Now, if you could think you could do these without hanging on to your leg, you can place your hands behind your head and switch, switch. See if you could curl your head and shoulders up off the ground a little bit higher. Your shoulder blades, you've got these little pointy parts at the bottom, kind of like kickstands. Get those up off the ground, switching and switching. We got three more each leg. Switch, switch, switch. Curl up a little bit higher, switch. Last one each leg. Hover it on the ground, hover, hover, switch. Both knees up to the ceiling, head and shoulders down. Nice work. Give your knees a little hug. Feet are on the ground. Separate them the width of your mat. And you're gonna inhale and reach through your legs like you're doing a tug of war with somebody right in the middle of your knees. So you're gonna reach up and then pull back. Reach up and then pull back. So the pulling back isn't just a release and fall to the ground. Engage those abdominals and really think about lengthening them as you lower one vertebra at a time towards the ground. So up, reach, and then lower. Reach, and then lower. You got two more. Reach, you're gonna hold it up at the top. Reach, hold it here. Hold it here, reaching through your legs, and you're gonna bring your knees in and extend them out. Knees in, extend them out. Knees in, extend them out. One more, extend them out, hold it here. Rotate your feet forward and back, side to side. Reach, reach, reach. Arms up, legs up to the ceiling, touch your toes. Inhale and exhale down, woo. Bring your knees into your chest. You guys want one more? All right, I'm gonna give you one more. We're just gonna do traditional bicycle, but we're gonna do it the Pilates way. So your knees are in tabletop. Lift your head and shoulders off the ground so you cannot feel the bottoms of your shoulder blades touching the ground. Got it? Elbows are out super wide. Bring your right knee in, and you're gonna lift up to go over towards that right knee. Make sure your right shoulder is off the ground. Bring your knees into the center. Your, uh, you look to the center too. And now twist over towards the opposite knee. Get your left shoulder blade up off the ground. Come back to the center, up. Now switch over to the left. Get that right shoulder blade up off the ground. You're not sitting up, you're still doing this exercise. Come to the center, both knees in. Go over towards the left. Left shoulder blade, lift it up higher. So now you're gonna go gently back and forth from right to left. But the difference is it's not just twisting. You're lifting up to go over. You're lifting up to go over. Do you feel that difference? Up to go over. Let's go two more each side. Up to go over, right shoulder blade is up to go over, left shoulder blade up, twist, right. We're gonna do one more thing, almost done. Left, come to the center, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, come on, you got this, almost done. Three, two, we're gonna pulse to the right, right, pulse up, get that right shoulder blade off the ground. Four, three, two, one, center, left, pulse, eight, seven, we're done after this, six, for real, five, four, three, two, one and down. Nice, nice, nice. We're just gonna relax here for a minute. You can just rock your knees back side to side. Just do what works for you. So I'm here every day, live 10 a.m. I know a lot of you are watching this later in the day because you West Coasters and Arizona people um, I've heard that you guys have workouts. You guys are doing your workouts and then doing yoga later, which is awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if you are on Instagram, I would love a tag and a story. If you have any pictures from today's class, I'm yoga underscore Tracy. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. Now you're going to drop your knees to the right. Hands over to the left. Just a gentle twist. Or if you don't want to be known, I love to hear the feedback, what you liked, what you'd like to see more of. Bring your knees into your chest, hug them, go over towards the left, and tell your friends. There was a few guys who said, I had no idea you were doing this. 
One reason is I literally just started last week. Um, but if you've got teammates that you think are needing stuff while they're at home, bring your knees to your chest. Please tell them, rock yourself up to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna look for that card that I had today. I'm gonna read it one more time for you. Each problem has a solution, right? You can do yoga at home to get your mobility work in. You're not at spring training, so you do it here. Um, all experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. I turn every experience into an opportunity. What could you be doing differently now that you're home that you may not have been able to do before? Maybe you can just think about that for today. Inhale your arms up. Bring your hands together at the center of your chest. We say namaste to every class. The love and light in me honors and greets and is so grateful for all of the good in you. Thanks for practicing today. Namaste. Boom. You got another one down. If you're new, great job. You can check my videos out. We've got, I don't know, five or six or seven. There's also another really good one. You know, every time I go, I walk like this, and I think, why didn't I just get up and walk over, right? So today, I kind of remembered. Um, there's another good one. It's called, oh my gosh, Awakening the Psoas. Um, it's a fast one, um, just so you don't have to watch like 20 minutes of it, but all of those poses are super good for you. Um, so you can read about it and why it's good. But anyway, thanks for joining today. See you later. Have a great day. Thanks, Lorena. Bye, Farik, and everybody else who's here that I don't know who's secretly watching. <laughs> Bye.